Inaka. This is the state of the nation. Rifa Mwanga. We are deliberate. We are reasonable. We are uncensored. The state of the nation with Henry Salva. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the State of the Nation. My name is Henry Sully. Uh, as always, we wish to acknowledge this land. On which the African Alumni Association operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land. Of the Huron Wendant the Seneca and the Mississaugas of the credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many indigenous people from across the Tato Island. And we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Uh, this is a ritual that I do every Sunday. Uh, I, I find that it is uh, something that reminds me of, of my uh, of my Ganda in indigeniality, indigeniality. Ah, dimu sanyo funyo okubanti ndo tugeenda kugera kutaka liya Mairo over Mairo land. I am uh, excited that we are going to have a discussion about uh, the Mairo land tenure. Uh, what does it mean uh, to to be engaged uh, with this discussion, and why is it important that we engage in it? today and why is it important that we engage with it or in this discussion today ngasina bakugenda wala njengalo okuyoza yozo omutanda okutoka ku amatikira agemyaka abiri mu munana mwenna mwenna ababa de enkoni mukulikeyo mwe bale kuvuga kuvuga kuvugiriza na mulondo uh, mwena mwena mkulikeyo era mweba lide dalo kubanti no mucha ya gala uh, enono ya Uganda. Uh, as something small to commemorate the uh, 28 years uh, nga kawaka alikunda mulondo kamba weyo kanokoka. <tune> Ye magulu nyondo ye gulu dene. Ah, sawa sawa saja tukweba za. Ah, yonayo kolila uh, Uganda. Ate tukuyoza yozo kubanti nino. Umalize kunda mulonde miaka avili munana. Ah, tukusavida mukama akume. Ayongiro kubanti nino. Ah, akongira amagezi na amanyi. Ukulaba nti o Ola mula bulunji of Uganda. Uh, in the studio today, I have uh, the regulars, um, Muzukuru Wam Suwanga Limitala, and uh, Stella Nyazi, as well as David Kajawa, who is just returning uh, to the state of the nation. I'm going to invite them to introduce uh, themselves, starting with Mr. Mitala Muzukuru Wam Suwanga Limitala. Mr. Mitala. Nianza nyonyo mwami Henry Sali, uh, sanyo senyo kudamuwa kuvela wano kusande eno, na kuzo mwezi ngalumuwa mwezo guomu nana, mwaka mkumi bili mwama kumi mwaka vili mugu mu, uh, ngabu lijewe tuko la kusande tuvela wano tukubaganye vilo ozo kuso ngezi mu, na dale nso ngezi li topiko, uh, ezili current, ezili trending, uh, kumituwe vi kuwata gana kuyomu kulembeze <coughs> VNC ya fe Uganda, motherland. Kali nsanyo senyo, ngabuli jo, amanya Julius Mitala, ndi mna mate kwa mtendeke, mbela mungereza, specialism ya ngeli mental health, uh, nemi jimwe miyara jenko, lejange jowa na chewa, 
sina binyo bya sobola kuogera kujja ko okudamu okweba za heno yokutuwa mukiso kubera ngano okuogera ku nsonga ezitukwata ko fenda nga bana Uganda na dalaba bana Uganda abawangalira mu diaspora atenga tuina interest nyingi nyo mu bintu ebigenda maso eka so i'm looking forward to the exchange i welcome my brother mkuru wange Jude Mbabali no mugenyi wa forwarero agnes chirabo mweba le kute kutwe gatako nsubira anti discussion ene genda kuvera yanja ulu discussions pero kuvera nazo bulijo a kajoban kulamsiza ne stela mbalamsiza nga bulijo ye byange henry dr stella welcome aboard introduce yourself you came right in time hi hi introduce yourself Thank you very much. It's a it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, I, I I want to thank you very much for organizing the panel for us. Uh, and again, I'm glad to be back. This time, I'm traveling from Munich to Berlin, and so I will ask that you 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 have grace and uh, allow any interruptions that may occur. Hi, David. Good to see you back. Uh, hi, Mozukuruwa, Muswangali, and uh, I, I, I greet and welcome the guests, the special guests that we have. Thank you, Henry. I'll be changing from my phone to my laptop, but uh, please bear with me. I'm excited to be here discussing the land question in Uganda as a Muganda woman. As a Muganda woman, indeed. Uh, may I introduce two more panelists uh, that have joined us today. Uh, Agnes Chirawo, Tusaisokulabaku State of the Nation. You are muted. Not really, my mic is on. Okay, there you go. Uh, Russia to rule it, any Agnes, 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 Ngamari demukwete geleza enkola na mateka. Okulaba nga ganu kula. Obweta vubwa bantu. Teka nyigiriza muntu no mu. Na yoku singe nyo nga nese ngeleza nyo amateka na enkola. Aga kwa na gana kunsonga. Obaga kwa ta kunsonga zeri obulimi. Ateno kusinge nyo emere. So my name is Agnes Kirabo. I'm a Ugandan. I'm a food and agriculture policy specialist. I do policy analysis. And my major interest area is to ensure that policies, laws, regulations, and decisions do not in any way limit any person's ability to feed him or herself. So the issue of land is at the heart of the work that I do because without food must be farmed and food is farmed. And therefore anything that uh, threatens land tenure security, it is terrorizing food and nutrition security. And when you terrorize food and nutrition security, you're terrorizing humanity. So that's why I'm here and land i have worked on land issues uh consistently from 2009 when the amendment of the land act again in the interest of my land reforming my land uh went on in the country so this is where i have been up to the present day i'm happy to join the panel again welcome aboard uh, it's a pleasure to have you at the state of the nation uh, we are excited for Thank the you. input that you're going to, 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 to offer us. Thank uh, you. We do, we do have another, another, another surprise guest, the former 
mayor of Masaka municipality, uh, Honorable Jude Mbabali. Tuzanzo kula, Honorable Mbabali. Otumuli de chichesi genda mumaso. Uh, Amatiki la gage nze gata gaba de kumpi nawe. Mm. Uh, Sawa saja agamba chi. Na hene chila mm. la racho oli wano to, to, to have a discussion about uh, my own land tenure. Or reforms about my own land tenure. Ok. Sebo weba le nyo moderator. Amanya nze judi mbabari. Ndi lawyer. Atela ndi political activist. Uh, ngabu yogete mbade mkule mbeze mbade chairmani wa district ye masaka kati ya fulidwe chibuga uh, mailo landi nsonga mkulu nyo ilawa na Uganda nsonga ya kutenda kati uh, bandubanji baji ogila kumu ngelie zenja uro na kwezo tuwa ino wa David Mpanga minister waka waka wa special duties ngaji ogila kumu Yari uh, on Zoom, a rabba of Bukabangi, Navalabanga, Vacheta, and the day. Savasa Jacabaca, Yava Den, Joe, Gakuza, Mazari Wage, a Munconi, a Muruvian Coni, a ra in song in a joke deco, Yagambi, and tea, a Wabagazako, Kujao, my Roland, Bagazako, Koto Gerawa Kabaka, no Tawanya. Enkula kulana eliwo mu Buganda ne Uganda. So briefly be the same. All right. Thank you so much again for, for your introduction. Uh, feel free to, to, to speak either English or Uganda. We usually deliberate in English, but uh uh to mix uh state of the nation ebifa mugwanga. So uh you can definitely deliberate in both languages uh, as you okay. see fit. It's very interesting that you have uh, uh, referenced two important uh, discussions that uh, I've been following closely. Uh, one, the, 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 the Kawaka speech uh, during his colonization, uh, but also the debate uh, conducted by NTVs on the spot, uh, which David Impanga eloquently uh, presented about the land tenure. Uh, of course, I have a few clips that I'm going to uh, to, to play, uh, and then we shall have a uh, discussion. Best starting with those clips, uh, but also uh, also expounding more uh, on uh, on the issues at hand. Uh, before we start, I need to invite <laughs> Mr. David Dikajova to introduce himself. I almost forgot that I didn't invite you. And you're just looking at me like, this guy has invited me to introduce myself. Mr. David Kajoma is, is returning to the state of the nation. He's been a busy guy. Welcome back, Mr. Kajoma. Tell us what's going on. Where have you been hiding? <laughs> it's good to be back. It's, uh, it's it's always good to be here. Uh, you know, I've been can't be hard. Um, someone is saying I can't be heard. Is that correct? We hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, I've I've been away for a while on official duties, <laughs> but it's good to be back. Uh, Jova, and uh, I'm a student of life, uh, and I look forward to a wonderful discussion with esteemed panelists in their different rights. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Again, thank you so much uh, for joining us. We're excited to have you back. Uh, why don't we dive into the conversation, starting with uh, the, com uh, the speech uh, delivered by uh, Om Tanda. Tuvumiriranyo banafabo abateka we mbeira mubugenderev Okutujia kumara mwa. Ogoku juki zaba kurembe zebe guanga. Kunsonga ebi afe. Buganda. Tegalanga kukwe kutula kubichundu ilala. 
Buganda tegalanga ko kwe kutula ku bitundu bilala ibya Uganda wado kugoba wanna Uganda abalala Tulide nyo ensonga yettaka lya Buganda eyogerwako abantu abenjawulo Era banji ngabagamba ntiyevako okukonzi bya enkula akulana ya Uganda kino si kitufu abakola kino bagenderera kunafya bwa kabaka ebintu nga bino bituletera okunakuwala no kwebuza ebibuzo nga bino Wachi etakali ebi tundu ebi lala liyo tiliyo giru wako. Wachi omoyo guwabu gando ogutafa ogusembeza abalala gutwali wango nafu. Kanchi temu orwale eronti. Tetujia kukowa no murundi no gumu. Okujuki za government ya fenti. Okufana na nako. Nebi tundu ebi lalabi ya Uganda. Obwaka waka wa Uganda. Uli nebi intubi ya agwio. Ebi tasana. Kuteke wako. Bukwa kukulizo. Right. Obwaka waka wa Uganda wili ebintu byabo ebita sana ku. Tulinga abafiridwa emogera nga njogera mu Uganda. Wente wenda galo kutani ko kuogera nga njogera mu Uganda. Na ye please ba panelist si mwenda feel free of course so meza. Preamble to Ajida Biafina. The question that is being pondered here uh, is Henry Buckner. The, the question that is being pondered is, uh, you know, the issues surrounding uh, the Milo Tena system yeah. in Buganda. Henry Kawuya, from you. All right, all right, all right. Um, Henry Buckner, the question. I'm trying to navigate like so many people uh, like people are, uh, are getting in and out so they are confusing me but uh, uh, thank you so much Mr Mumitala Muzukuru wa Muswangali uh why don't I play why don't I play Mr David Panga's clip as well because Tandi Kirao Wanga is new it's federalism at some point Uganda is the seat of the central government, but also where 65 percent of Uganda's economy is locked. So Uganda must make concessions. Um, is that an argument you're willing to listen to, that after years of being the seat of government, you've benefited from development that is government-led, and that development has created a sort of surge of people from their rural neighborhoods to this urban center. And now there's a crisis of the landless and the people that have land, and the landed. Um, is it an argument that Buganda is willing to listen to and, and make concessions on? You see, I don't, I don't have the benefit of having seen the document or the place where it's said that they've argued, um, they've made this point. But if, if it's true that they have and you've characterized it properly, mm -hmm. First, consider this, that it's a contradiction to the whole argument around 1900. That's the point that I was making earlier. Is the concern around people who were dispossessed in 1900, or is the concern around people who've come subsequent to 1900 who have no land? If there is a concern around the people who've come to Buganda um, and need land in Buganda, let's also ask our question, where has their land gone for where they came from? It's not a bad question to ask what happened to the land that they came from. Now, if there are certain people sitting in Kampala holding levers of power and have access to lots of cash, who are buying lots of land in rural areas where they come from, fencing it off, chasing people away, 
and forcing them into Buganda to create a landless crisis. I'm afraid, again, we need to talk about these things properly and say, why are these people being chased away, <laughs> moved away from where they would ordinarily develop and live and be happy and landed? And why should it be expected that they should become landed here? You see, no region is getting more land. All right. So it shouldn't be that Buganda's accommodation of others should be taken as an elastic uh, arrangement that cannot and will not lead to unnecessary social conflict. We mustn't have those kinds of solutions, those kinds of arguments. They're very dangerous, very, very dangerous. I remember being in a, in a, in a radio discussion or debate about land. It's a perennial subject um, with a prominent politician from northern Uganda whose blushes I'll spare because he's not here, although I know he can uh, spar very nicely. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about, oh, we will not have investors. We're going to spear them in a trolley. We will not agree with... When we went for a break, and you know that during the breaks there's a lot of frank discussion, I said to him, but when you say things like that, do you ever pause for a minute and ask yourself what Baganda feel like when all the so-called development and everybody is here and how you encourage us to go into very negative and unnecessary debates? Mm -hmm. That's very, very dangerous to say that the relocation of people must be accommodated by one group mm -hmm. at the cost, you know, with, with, with others not having to bear that burden. To the contrary, this would be my solution to that. One, let's look at the drivers of rural urban migration. Let's look at ways of developing, and I think it's in the government plan, but let's look of, at ways of developing regional centers. There's no reason why a person has to walk all the way from Bali to Kampala to get a job as a pusher of a cart. There should be economic development that enables them to achieve their aspirations in Mbali, the same in Kawali, the same in Aroa, the same in Gulu. There must be regional centers. You know, you could have a discussion around federalism. Maybe that's a topic for another. An <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is whether this is a discussion about economics. Uh, why don't I start with the politicians? Is Mr. Freddy Babali still here? Oh. Yes, so why don't I start with you, the politician? Is this about economics? Is this about uh, unequal? Uh, sharing of resources. I know it's in other parts of Uganda, but it's primarily in Buganda. Issue about economics. Should we start thinking about federalism? Mm, the the uh, Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think this issue is both an economic issue as well as a legal issue. Yeah, why am I saying so? As a practicing advocate, I have uh, witnessed cases where uh, one rich person buys about uh, 200 square miles of mile land, and uh, these 200 square miles of uh, mile land have uh, squatters on them, have banja holders on them. And these Vivanja holders uh, own their Vivanjas in perpetuity. This rich person who buys the mile interest of uh, 200 square miles tries to evict Vivanja holders without compensating them. Of course, that is against the law. The Land Act is very clear that you can't evict. And in case you are to evict, you have to get a court order. And uh, the only reason or the only ground on which court can grant you permission to evict Vivanja holders is non-payment of Busul. Hope you know what I mean by Busul. Uh, it, is that, it is that money that is paid to 
a land road. So I've seen that happening in many areas where Masaka, Wengo, it is very rampant. And when you ask these people who are evicting, they will tell you that we want to use this land for more economic purposes. And the, the reason that if this land is occupied by Vivanja holders, then economically it is not viable for me as the owner of uh, the Milo land. And somehow they have a point because they will tell you that according to the law, for example, here in Masaka, a Chivanja holder, whether you have uh, two acres or one acre, you are supposed to pay 5,000 shillings as Busuru per year. And so this Milo land holder will tell you that for me, that is not possible. I have to evict these people. I paid the money for this land. And you may ask, why are the former land owners selling this land, this Milo land? They said because they think it is no longer, the land no longer has the value. It is useless, it is occupied by uh, the Vivanja holders. So there is a problem with uh, Milo land system, which I think can be cured. Milo land system creates two interests on the same land. It has two owners of the same piece of land. And uh, in reality, the Kibanja holder who sits on a Milo land gains more from the Milo land on which his or Kibanja sits. And I think that's where government comes in to say there is a problem. We have many rampant evictions. We, as people in the government, we have to solve this problem. But uh, according to me, I think government needs more time to study this problem because the way they are dealing with it is as if they are trying to solve it politically. The problem, I think, is not a, a political problem, but it is an economic problem. We need to find a way of ensuring that the owner of the Milo land gains something that is valuable from his land. And at the same time, the Kibanja holder also uh, uses his land uh, gain free without interference from the Milo land owner. So briefly, that is how I interpret it. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Mbabali. You have provided a, a, a new twist to this conversation, actually. Uh, Agnes, as, as an activist yourself, uh, what, do you, what do you think of... Uh, what, what is your perspective on Milo land? And do you think okay, this is... Uh, the thank you so much. I, I have decided to uh, switch off my video. Uh, because of the connection issues. But uh, you are also aware <laughs> that uh, accessing uh, Facebook in Uganda is illegal. <laughs> so, <laughs> but well, <clears throat> for me, uh, what is my land? <sighs> for the person who is listening to us uh, for the first time, all who is getting into this conversation and uh, what is all over the place is Milo land. In Uganda, Council Mbabari will bear me witness and uh, the other council here and others is that government and its representative in their own wisdom came up with the land law to operationalize the constitution of 95. We had a delegate land law in 1998. 
And you realize those are three years after we go to the new constitution. And you also realize that we only got a national land policy in 2013. So by the time we got a national land policy in 2013, we had amended the law twice, the land law twice. So when council says the issue of mile or the issue of land in Uganda is an economic issue, but also it is a legal issue, I tend to agree with him. Because the idea that what the law would have been useful to the people is the law to sort out the challenges. But it, it instead created more challenges, like council has said. But let me go back to what is my land. In the land, in the land of 1998, Four ten year systems were stated. One ten year system is the customary. That one is being managed or it is supposed to be managed and governed according to the customs. The other ten year system is the freehold. Then the other one is the leasehold. And then the mile land. Mile land. Freehold. These two tenure systems gives the owner of that land parcel absolute ownership to perpetuity. So etakaliba lilio. Kastito wango ufunye echi hapa. A title deed. Echa mairo. Owa echa freehold. Kuliz. Lizi yofuna echi hapa. Nienga cha chisera. E chuchemo wa mukirizi ganyi zako na waku wa derizo. Wani yaka na muetano, obache nda muenda. Kakati emairo. Bweti wefana nanga weba jinyo nyola. Nti etu ukawa no kuhiti wa mairo. Kumanga ya pimi wa mairo. Munda gane yolukumi, morenda. Kakati. Echibuso mtu che andye buziza. Ntiwe tuba tuka ambanti waliwe chizivo. Tute kukuchusa muma teka ni nkola. Kumayilo land. O mtu ya andye buziza nti e chizivo che chi. Chizivo chiche tuagalo kwenga anga norecho ama teka katuyambe tukateleze. What is the problem that you want to deal with by undertaking these reforms of this particular tenure system? Because I've told you, we have a tenure system by the law. And now, one tenure system is under discussion, which is Miro. So somebody would ask, what is the problem? So far, two problems have been brought on the table. Problem number one are the evictions. Now, let us ask ourselves, are there evictions? The answer is yes. Question number two, are evictions only happening on my land? Your guess is as good as mine. Abantu wakoba kanyiziwa kutaka. Nga chie chizivu. Ye. 
buli kumachia mtu mtu na olwe gulo na chilo cholo alero obaba kambia ntewa kubaba matu kutaka bago wala ntu kumataka wano e Uganda e chibuze choku mili bwebo wala kubaba ntu kumataka baba kubaba kumayiro kukaa oba tu ine chizibu chaba ntu kubaba ganyizi wa kutaka mu Uganda liyo na ntu tu ino kutula wabali netu gamba tuno gede tutia e chizibu chine choku kubaba ntu kutaka because people are being evicted everywhere. Now, the economic issue. Ntiyobwavu wunji nyo. There is a lot of poverty and land is not being put to proper use. Is it a problem? Yes. The poverty levels are going up, are shooting. So it is a problem. Yes, people are poor. People are getting poor every other day. True. Are we having poor land use? Yes. Because we do not have very good land use plans. The third question. Is the poverty only on my land or among the communities around my land alone? My answer is no, because we have just gotten a, a, a statistical abstract from the Bureau of Statistics not so many months ago, it could be a month or two ago, and the, the statistical abstract was actually telling us there is no more, there is more poverty in Acholi. So is my land in Acholi? No. So if we are going to deal with poverty, should the focus, the primary focus be on my land? So if we are going to deal with the poor land use, is it only on my land? No. But if we agree as a country that yes, we are not doing well on reducing poverty, actually poverty is doing better than we are doing, it is flourishing, we need to deal with the poverty, we need to deal with the land use, then we have to go back and holistically look at this problem. Moderator, where the tensions come from is having a generalized, a general problem, but a specific solution. Then people started, start feeling that they are being targeted. The final submission I can make in this segment is why my land, in my own personal observation, and why do the Baganda feel that they are in target? Reason number one is the location. Where is the Milo of Uganda located? If you are to attach value to land in Uganda, what is going to be the parcel of land, which parcel of land will have a much higher premium? Because we have concentrated development here at the center. And therefore the, market, the land market has gone out of control. And the governor that is supposed to grow the whistle and the game gets balanced doesn't know how to deal with the problem. Kasson Babal is raising something very, very important. That actually there are those Milo holders where by law we promoted two forms of uh, rights. Right number one are the ownership rights. So these are the, 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 the Milo landholders. And then we again within the same law provided for user rights or rights by occupancy. And then we went ahead in the law and clarified who is a lawful owner. We have failed to manage this because it used it to work. So many minor landholders are having their land 
they actually don't even know who are the tenants. The tenants keep multiplying every other day. And it makes it very, very difficult to govern. So, my land is lucrative. We shouldn't run away from that. It is lucrative. Right. Right, right. We, we seem to have lost you. I wonder if it's uh, the internet. Uh, but I think we have got, uh, most of us have gotten the gist of, uh, of your submission. So uh, I, I'm going to, to ask the other three panelists to respond to, 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 to both uh, Council Babali uh, and uh, uh, Miss Agnes Chilabo. Uh, of course, uh, Miss Agnes uh, talks about. Hey. Right. So I think we have lost you. I think we have lost you, Miss uh, Miss Chidabo. You can always come back later. Uh, I'm going to invite the other panelists to respond to to your submissions. Uh, yeah, we have actually lost her. Uh, she's offline. Uh, but I'm going to ask Mr. Kajowa to come in first. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you agree that we have uh, four, 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 four types of uh, land tenures? Do we still have that customary land tenure? Uh, does it still... Uh, uh, does it, is this still a reality in Uganda or is it a pre-colonial... Uh, land tenure. Uh, also, I wonder if any of you can can speak to to the different uh, customary land tenures. For example, Obutaka, Obutongole, uh, Obuswengeze. Uh, what what do those mean? And uh, do, do, do all those concepts have something to do uh, with what is happening now? Uh, do they have to be redefined? Uh, are they some of the causes of, of the challenges that we have on, on, on land tenure? Mr. Kajora Chitandikanawi, Dr. Uh, Stella Nyanzi, then Nsembeo Council, Muzukuru wa Muswagari. Sebo, Nyanzi za Nyanzi ge, au Mukisa Gwomba ge. I might not necessarily be the best person to uh elucidate the details involved in uh and and everything yeah yeah i'll focus on uh, on uh on 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 more mostly the if you like uh, social uh the sociological aspects and maybe in aspects uh, uh the economic aspects about land and of course uh a bit of the philosophical as well. Uh, Omanyi, <laughs> when, when I see the conversation in Uganda, Nadella from, the, from our leaders, the government, uh, concerning land, uh, to me, it, it, it brings a story to mind that I've been thinking about. Omusaji uh, Omu nga but at some point uh, in their life, ngakiro bili ezo mchere ziba malo kulia neba kuta niche mishara na niche guro. And as they grow, wata nso kufubuka, ngimele techa amala, ngavana wa sigara bayala, tata nata andika uh, to blame the food ukubanga techa amala bana mtata anga gamba umuchere gwenye kuno sicha kutegira kilo biti sicha amala bana bana bali mmele tipa kuta emele nuzi sicha jitegira emele neriko uvuzi uyeta kwa kuchusa uh, tukule taipu endale yu umuchere nebolo kwa taipu endale yu umuchere uh, ngo uchia gula kilo bili it will still be the same problem it will still be the same problem why? because it is not that the muchere uh, has changed its 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 um its composition. 
No, it is because your children, their numbers and uh, and, and 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 also their consumption has outgrown uh, the muchere that you, you used to buy. And so, okuda mukunenyo muchere. I think what you you should we, we should be having a conversation about um, uh, about uh, about yourself first of all. Enfuna yo necho kuwe rome mire jogula e malaba na bori na owa teba mala. Away from that, okujaku uh, now bringing this to the guest. The pro, I think, I think we we the problem is not Myro land per se. Uh, the problems of land and landlessness uh, are fairly expressed through history. If we are good students of history. In every society, uh, in every, um, if you like, um, civilizations of the worlds of old, there was a problem of landlessness. And and if you if you if you look uh, keenly, uh, the 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 problem of landlessness is is mostly amplified in what one might call peasant societies or agrarian societies. Kakachi, uh, we were going through history uh, in different societies, not even just in Uganda, not just in Africa. The problem of landlessness has always been there. The problem of absentee landlords has always been there. Okay, uh, and even today, we have absentee landlords everywhere. Even here, with Wanga, you know, on Misari, the poor who have chunks of land. The better and not everyone has a piece of land. But I think the difference between different economies and the economies of Uganda is they have found out how to leverage the inelastic uh, article of production called land to make it relevant and suitable uh, to the problems of the, po of, the, of the population. For example, when you look at Uganda, uh, of course, as time goes by, the problems of, Uganda, of land become more amplified. One, because uh, the population of Uganda is growing, uh, not reducing. You know, in fact, we have one of the fastest growing population. And, and uh, to make matters worse or better, depending on which side of the, of, the, of the table you stand, the biggest population of this is a young population. And, and by young population, this is what, what I, ideally in economics we, they call the productive population. You know, people who need to work, people who need to... Uh, to, to earn more, they are productive, they have a lot of energy. You know, and I'm surviving. We are at an age where the most of the population, in fact, we are in the, we, we are almost in the, what one would call the, the, the the, the elderly bracket of the population of Uganda. Kubanga, I think the last time I checked the statistics, I think the biggest percentage, the biggest percentage are below 30 years old. And I don't think, uh, I stand to be corrected, I don't think any of us here is below 30. So we are still citizens, you know, in the context of Uganda, to Zala, to, to, to you know, and we have a better go Korea. So that problem is there. So whether our whether our system would, would have been uh, you know Milo or, or customary or whatever, the problem we are having today we would have right now. Why would we have this problem? Because first of all, we have not planned for the population. We have not planned for this population explosion. And of course, as we increase in population, there is also overutilization of land. I think um, um, Agnes uh, mentioned this. There is also an overutilization of land, and therefore the land is is, is losing its uh, its value and fertility. Uh, on, and on top of that, uh, we have climatic change. So the conversation about land right now is is for me not a consequence of the Myroland tenure system. No, there are so many factors involved in this okay uh, that's the first th uh, uh, aspect that i want to put on the table now what is what do i think is actually uh, uh, going on right now uganda is having uh, to negotiate between uh, a, a move towards commercialization and industrialization and also, while at the same time we're mediating, we have, it, this is me being mediated in an environment of peasant subsistence. 
you know uh, we have ngabo bwe tugama nti omusajja jana agula yika meka na nago bakaba nti 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 bagende you know nti nti muve ko mugende abade bakaba amaziga uwe tugenda kudawa tugenda kuliyawa uh, i i think for me he who is advocating for uh, for some what people have called squatters over uh, and different terminologies that are being used these that are being evicted from land and and these that are evicting i think both sides uh, are, are an embodiment of the same problem are the embodiment of the same problem both sides are right in their arguments but are also wrong in their counter arguments uh either way nti if we need to of course we cannot go away from the fact that we need commercialization in uganda because uh, our systems are no longer sustainable uh, in the long run we can no longer live by subsistence we cannot subscribe to peasantry we do need the shift but it's also true that uh, a move a move into commercialization and industrialization does not necessarily mean uh, uh, it cannot happen in a vacuum toyinza kugamba anti kansoke olokubanga jagalo kuwera jagalo kuwera mtabani wangu omukuru kansoke nkwate abana banga abala mbatuze waka ono wana amalo okufuna uh, diguri then ndio kemba kwate bano baloke bagende ku somero wono yakairo batwa ira ku somero oja kubera nga tocha ina bana ba kuwera oja kubo ina bazadde ba bana ba bana so I think the problem for me that I see in Uganda is a problem of governance and administration. I, I, I bring it down to, to, to this. Why? Why do we have double ownership? It is, uh, it, is, it is a title of the same piece of land and someone comes tomorrow also has the same a land title of the same piece of land from Uganda Land Board. Uh, you know, why do we have that? Okay. Why do we have military men in the country? Okay. I have a friend who is a surveyor. <laughs> and, and one time, I was busy. You know, because I'm not busy. Let's go to the field. I saw something I've never seen. You know, I saw something I've never seen. 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 I what was my land over over what you are freehold land kubanga nga mukurumba bali we yagambye ne muchala chirabo nti these problems are pronounced in all different systems of holding mu freehold jebidi mu my land jebidi mu so i think we have a bigger problem than the systems we have the question is before we think of system changes have we manned the systems we have well enough and realize that these systems are actually not working or have we failed to man the system and instead of taking responsibility for our failures we are shifting blame from our failures as the, uh, of, of governance and administration to the systems themselves because systems themselves say nothing apart from administration and interpretation it is like the law the law against corruption is, is not working. But the law says nothing apart from in, in interpretation. The law needs to be given power. So have these systems been empowered enough to do the work for which they were designed? Or have we failed in our part as, as, as the leadership of the country uh, to empower these systems to do their job and now instead of accepting our failures and finding solutions to our poor management, now we are shifting the blame onto the systems, which systems themselves have no life in them apart from when we actually give them life. Right. I think for me, that's the conversation we need to have. Right. Dr. Stella, Stanley, can I you? Um, right now, I'm here. I think for me that um, I, I associate myself with all the previous 
conversation. Um, I want to enter this space really as the daughter of a man who had a lot of land, a lot of land, some of which was under the Milo tenure system and uh, the undocumented customary as well as the, the leasehold. And um, Mokulu Mbabali can bear witness to my father being a landed man when he was in Masaka, where we have a lot of property. So Mwadi Mwagila Kubantu, you've been discussing people who have huge chunks of Milo land. My father, when he died, um, unbeknownst to us, his children had land that stretched uh, we have villages of property. And so part of what we inherited as his children was uh, Milo land title. And part of the squatters on our land are fishermen who come and go, come and go. And fishermen drop children, and the children grow up to have other children, right? So when you talk about people and the economic question, I think that for some of us who actually own Milo land, this is not just an economic issue about other people. It's about a very legacy, our inheritance, our survival, right, as a people. And I think that Article 26 of our constitution in Uganda is very, very clear. Every person has a right to own property, either individually or in association with others. This is our constitution. Jagala Kwagira Kunsonga, yeah, the law, you know. The, the, the good council has said to us that uh, the government should come in because of a problem, but I want to say for me, categorically, that law reform is important, but it must be constitutional. It must be constitutional, okay? Law reforms that come to steal, law reforms that are ordered by an executive who is no longer trusted by the people. And this I state as a political activist in the opposition, we do not trust the current executive leadership. And so I want to agree with uh, David who said that it is very much a governance issue. Uganda has a leadership crisis. And when we look at the person who ordered uh, the, 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 the Babugende constitution and its, its review, to what extent do Ugandans, especially Uganda, trust him? And I want to throw that there, that indeed it is a legal question, but over and beyond the law, I think that we we know that our executive many times has stood to rip articles out of the constitution of our country in ways that are not uh, for the good of the vast majority. And before I leave the legal issue, I want to raise the fact that in Buganda, Yuri Kauta Museveni was beaten squarely by a Uganda man. Okay? That must be put on the table. This is not just a legal question. It's also political. He lost in Buganda. I'm a Muganda who did not vote for Robert Chagulani Center, although he belongs to my clan. And so let us put tribal sentiments aside and analyze the politics of our country today and say that some of us who are indeed uh, listening to the ground, we hear that a lot of this current legal reform is retaliation. Museveni Yaswala Twamswaze Buganda. Right? And I want to put the third issue for me, that the Milo land issue is an identity issue for us in Buganda. It's an identity issue. It defines who I am. When the Kabaka is attacked, I am attacked. My kingdom is under attack. Buganda kingdom came under attack many times. Let us examine this question critically. That... Out of all the people who own Milo, many who have bought um, transference through sales, that many of these people are not Baganda, but 
at the core of Milo land is the Kabaka's 326 acres that he got in the 1900 agreement. Kabaka. <laughs> okay. And in addition to the Kabaka, you know, the Namasole, the, the Katikilo, the Mwanuzi, the Mulamuzi, all got chunks of land under the Milo land agreement. And for me, I think that at the heart of touching the Milo land is attacking the Kabaka. Because unlike many of the other Bami or chiefs who obtained land there, directly uh, in the 1900 agreement, those who had land prior to this, that the Milo land, many have sold, many have transferred, many have passed it on down like my great grandparents to their children and children's children. And so the only person I think who has custody over the land that was Milo land in 1900 is the Kabaka of Uganda. And to touch Milo is to touch my Kabaka. <laughs> okay? Mwana wawa taka, chala wawa taka, tiba gana kumanyira kabaka tutule. And I think for me, that as a Muganda woman, if I don't table this, I do not take, I will not be taken seriously as a Muganda. But to touch the Baganda's kabaka, to touch my kabaka, is to touch my person as, as a, a Muganda in Uganda. It is not a mistake that we are Baganda in Uganda, but also we should not be made to, 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 to regret for this other issue I want to table. So my fourth kind of uh, departure is to say that the issue of Milo land is also about historical legacy, yeah, yeah. which we cannot change. Oh. I think that Agnes Shilabo very brilliantly discussed the history of land laws in Uganda. And um, we inherited a law, laws change, laws grow. And I think for me that... Um, Part of the problem of this historical legacy is because of issues of power inequalities. There are those who gain and those who lose. Um, and Henry, the ticket, the ticket person has come. I have to show my train ticket. Well, she's she's gone, so I can't continue. Um, but I was going to raise the issue of, of the historical legacy, and that our history is quite a troubled and checkered history in Buganda. And I think for me that for us to pretend that it is not, uh, it has always been smooth and there are no conflicts and um, strife um, that arise out of land and land ownership and, and how it's taken away by the state and the law and how it's abused and used and how power is appropriated and exchanged through land, that would be to pretend about a reality that's there. So I think we have to be very careful about this historical legacy. It's an identity issue. It's uh, an economic issue. It's true, but then when we talk about economics, we should not. But but say right, Um, and I think the last thing I want to talk about is the political issue, which for me is really about an executive that cannot be trusted by the masses of, of Ugandans. Uh, okay, I've appeared. The idea that the executive stands and gives an order to to a cabinet minister and then parliament will happen and then and then that that um, raises questions around the extent to which the Ugandan population trusts the person who is issuing these orders, especially if he had the audacity to call Milo land evil. You know, I think he, he was projecting his own evil because we know one of the most evil grab, land grabbers in, in Uganda is actually the executive. And so I want to put that there and say it's political. We cannot run away from the politics, from the history, from the identity issues, from the economics and the legal issues. But lastly, to say that the legal issues cannot be trusted with just the courts and parliament because our courts have been found to be very corrupt, very slow, very expensive and many times court orders are rever uh, reversed by the military, right? Having a relationship with Sa Salim Saleh can overturn a court order. And so even the legal, uh, it's very good that Muzukuluwa Muswangali, another lawyer, is going to come after me. We don't trust the courts. <laughs> we don't trust the courts. Whether we are landowners or we are squatters, we don't trust the courts because uh, of lack of autonomy. We don't even trust so the judiciary arm. Um, 
has its own failings. It's expensive, it's, it's, it's too long, it is corrupt, it favors those who have money and guns and power. So I'll stop here for now. And um, again, like I said, I'm on the train, I'm sharing the cabin with others. I'll try hard to write down my notes and maybe come in at the very end. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, sounds great. Thank you. Thank you so much for, 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 for your submission. We really appreciate uh, the addition you have uh, given us on this topic. Muzukuru wa mswangali, sera omuli, debonova uli daktuale. So you, you're pretty much in a better position to uh, talk about everything holistically. Uh, land is an identity issue. Uh, but it's also a, a, a matter of historical legacy. Land is political, land is cultural, land is economical, but it's also legal. Uh, based on the conversation so far, what are your thoughts uh, on the land issues? Are, are, are the Baganda just, uh, is this just fight for the Baganda to have this conversation about land? Uh, I wanted to, to give a, a probing question to, to, to Stella because there are some people who are saying that uh, that the fact that uh, the very first law regarding yellow land was apparently distributed unfairly, uh, is that just fine? Should, should people have this, this, this discussion regarding uh, my land as it was initially uh, distributed. Right, brilliant. Thank you very much for Re respond to the best of your knowledge. Yes, th thank you very much. And I think, uh, as I said at the beginning of this conversation, that this is going to be a very, very interesting conversation. And it's very, it's very nice to hear you know, from a, a wide perspective of people who are very knowledgeable about these sorts of things either because they are activists, they have been at the forefront of fighting for various rights involving uh, land issues in the country. We've got a lawyer, we've got uh, an agricultural policy activist, we've got a doctor who is a researcher, and those of us who are observers, but also our interests also expand to the extent that in some respect we are also you know, land owners. And I believe that I wouldn't be surprised that every one of us on this, on this panel here has got a certificate of land title somewhere, maybe hiding under his bed or somewhere. So land is, 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 a, is, a, is a very, very critical issue. But, uh, you know, what is really this Milo land? I think uh, Agnes touched very briefly, you know, on it. I think uh, the Milo land concept, you know, everybody has got to, I think it's, it's widely acknowledged that it's, it's a kind of a foreign concept. You know, it was imported into, into our ways of life, you know, by the colonialists at, uh, during the 1900, you know, Uganda, Uganda agreement. So that is the first time we come across this uh, concept of Milo land. And one of the biggest criticism that uh, the Milo land tenure has faced is that it kind of uh, took away the rights of, you know, tenants, because as the different packages were being put in place, there is people who used to hold, you know, plots of land under the customary kind of arrangements who were kind of disregarded completely in that conversation. So from the its from from its very initial inception, it created that you know volume and volumes of people who were who were rendered landless, so they didn't have any land rights whatsoever. And so yeah, the relationship which, that year, was which year did you now, say it? Sorry, which year did you say it? At the, at the 1900, the Buganda Agreement, when it was yeah, put in yeah. place, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it created that problem. I mean, the Milo land thing is. is is a concept that is introduced in our way of life around that time, you know? Yeah. And uh, it's accepted that there was lack of consultation because obviously traditionally we had held land under these various customary arrangements yeah. such that, you know, everybody in the community was assured of some piece of land somewhere, you know? But obviously things have changed. And I think what has come to be accepted, generally speaking, is that relationship between the tenant and his landlord. That is an acceptable kind of concept in Uganda. And I don't think that, that Baganda, in their true sense, have got any problems with that because that is how we have lived. That is how our grandparents lived. That is how our, you know, people that we know have always existed, having that kind of positive relationship between the landlord and his tenant. Now, one wonders then why all of a sudden, you know, there is this problem. 
I must say that, uh, you know, from around 1938, I think there has been several attempts, you know, to review or reform the Uganda land laws. But I think one of the first uh, reviewers of, of our systems, I think one of the things that he suggested was that in order for us to have a legitimate kind of land system, there has to be trust and legitimacy on both sides. And I think that is what lacking. Now, first move forward. 1986, when Mr. Seven comes into power, he declares at the very first instant, at the first opportunity that he had to state that, you know, he was not going to rest until when the Milo land system had been, you know, destroyed. So uh, th th that kind of puts, you know, the Baganda people and the Buganda kingdom, where the biggest chunk of Milo land is held, you know, at... Uh, at a very awkward kind of situation. How do we, how will you deal with a person who has declared his intentions outrightly that they want to destroy things that you consider to be very, very pertinent about your ways of life? So that is something that really needs to be thought about. So there is that element of mistrust. Is that, I don't, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, that, that Mr. Seven is, 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 is the only person who is involved in this, but I think the establishment that he kind of looks after, there is, I think, the, at least within the Buganda, the Buganda people, they are entitled to approach this question with a lot of mistrust. You know, obviously, in the consultations, you know, that uh, followed the enactment of the 1998, you know, Land Act, lots of uh, views were presented. I think many people who are still actually, some of those people are still alive, you know. Uh, Honorable Ruth Nankamira was one of those people who were consulted and, you know, she's on record in the Hansard for her observations. I think when you talk about the Milan system, in the eyes of the Baganda, or the Buganda institution, you cannot talk about Milo land and take away the position of the Kabaka as the custodian of land. And I think as long as Mr. Mseveni continues to belittle the Kabaka, he continues to use language that is insulting or appears to be insulting towards, you know, the sort of things that Mr. Mseveni is saying that the faith, Father God, Father Ganda, that is really disrespectful. And I think you cannot begin a conversation of this kind from a point of view where somebody is already biased and disrespectful of another, another culture of people. So I think those are the sort of things that complicate you know, this conversation. But you know, what is the problem? The problem in my analysis is quite very, very, very simple. This is a relationship between the landlord and the tenant. And how do we manage that? And I think obviously as a lawyer, I know, that they are very good laws and practices and procedures that can be followed, you know, to uh, resolve disputes when disputes of this kind do emerge. Mostly they are disputes about, you know, access to uh, access to land, you know, they, they are not complex kind of issues that cannot be really resolved. I think uh, what is really relevant at this point in time is that there has to be respect on both sides and we've got to approach, you know, this problem with a degree of, 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 of balanced kind of uh, a balanced attitudes. Because as long as we are lacking that, then the mistrust is, all, is always going to continue. So for me, for me, that, that, that's really my, my characterization. Because I, and I agree with what Stella has said, you know, the issue of the Milo land in Uganda is an issue of, ex of, 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 of existence. It's an existential kind of problem. So the Baganda, the Baganda consider their land to be part and parcel of their heritage. When you talk about the Vataka, you know, many of us, when we die, we expect that maybe at some point our bodies will be taken back to the graveyards of where our great grandparents are. And therefore, these are things that are very important. So when there is a threat, whether it is perceived or real, that seems to suggest that, you know, people are going to lose that heritage, you know, in the so-called proposed land reforms, I think that creates a lot of problems, you know, for lots of people. But really, what's the way forward? I think the way forward, as I said, we need respect on both sides. I think uh, governments and institutions that are involved in these sorts of things need to take a very, very you know, kind of balanced, careful attitude. Because I think whenever you are creating laws, you need to take into account the, the aspirations and the needs of the host societies. You can create all the laws, and I think this is one of the problems that the 1998 Land Act actually faced, that the Baganda felt that there was an attack on their entity, on their, you know, on, on, the, on the one issue 
that they consider to be very important for them. So that's, that, that, that aspect seemed to be coming under attack. And for that matter, they are, there was that lack of support, that broad support from the Buganda establishment for the 1998, 1998 Act. So in order to avoid the, 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 same, the same approach, this is why I'm suggesting uh, that you know, there needs to be this careful, you know, balanced kind of approach. Let us approach this matter in a, in a way that is respectful, People have to know that uh, land in Buganda is a very sensitive matter. You know, we have always coexisted alongside each other. Those who own land are free to sell their land at market value. You know, in agreement with the land with with, with an identified, you know, legitimate buyer. The state, I don't think, is really the business of the state to get involved in this in, in this kind of issue because I think these are things that can be sorted, you know, by by the market forces. Obviously, I, I understand and I am sympathetic with the fact that you know, the, the, the government needs land to develop. But my question would be that the government in the, in the, in the, in the Uganda agreement of 1900, there, there was land totaling at least, at least about, you know, 19,000, whatever, whatever, you know, 9,000 miles of land that was bequeathed to the, to the crown. Uh, on top of other unclaimed land, which has subsequently been, you know, taken over, you know, in the custody of, of the state, uh, lands in uh, wetlands, natural resources, and all those other areas where the government has got all this access to land. What has happened to that land? Why is there a need, all of a sudden, to go for private for private people's land? I think that, that that's a question that I find quite to be very, very uncomfortable, you know, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I think, it, in a nutshell, for me. I do agree. It's a, it's a political issue. It's an economic issue. It's a social issue. It's an issue. It's an issue of heritage. But I would say that you know the Baganda have always been welcoming. The Baganda have always been willing to let other people use their land without a problem. But I think we've got to be we've got to face up to the fact that if I let somebody in my house as a visitor, they do not become the owners of the house. I think for me, that is the approach that I would take. Yes, people can have land, they can rent land, but you cannot take away other people's land. I think that is uh, it, it's a very you know difficult kind of argument for me to make that you know somebody can come and take away your land. Because I mean, if you look at the way this law was constructed, it was saying that you know there, there, there are several laws. I think there are several laws that have been there are several laws, but but the gist of it is that there there are these so-called vivanja the Vanja holders who can claim customary certificates of customary occupancy. Somebody comes onto your land and, you know, the next thing you know is that they are claiming ownership. That cannot be right. I really don't think that can be right. I mean, think about it. How many, how, in, in, in the, the commonest way how people become, you know, uh, owners of land is possibly through inheritance. Maybe somebody's father or grandparent dies and they bequeath them. You know, one hundred acres of land. Let us invite to go there. Yeah. Some and in this conversation as well. Uh, and I, I, I'm actually very curious about uh, his thoughts regarding the uh, the, 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 the the different land acts that have been uh, enacted over the years, uh, uh, starting with. Uh, of course, the, the, the 19001, but, but also the subsequent uh, laws that have uh, been enacted, the 1971, uh, the 1962 uh, uh, or 69, uh, 69 one, uh, the 1975, uh, specifically that one, because it's the, 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 the land uh, reform decree, which was uh, enacted by uh Geno Ida Minda da Gwenga Mula Muziga da lawyer da legal mind. What are your thoughts on what has been happening over the years, the different land acts that have been enacted over the years? Uh and how different are they with the proposal that that that, that is uh, being thought about right now? I, 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 we must be uh, mindful to, to 
because we know this this hasn't really become a, a, a real conversation in parliament so it's it's not something that uh, that has turned into a bill yet uh, but this is something that the government is contemplating doing when you look at the conversations happening now and you look into the history over those historical conversations that led to the different land uh, acts. What comes to mind, Ngabuga Lawyer? What comes to your mind? Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sari. Um, first of all, Njagala Kweba is a Bakurubo Naba panelist. Okujayen Songe no Gurunji. Atinde was in Dr. Stella Nyanzi. Uh, Ambuzi Zanti Ayagadi Kakasova Chitufu Chitawe Arineta Karinje Masaka Chitufu Nyo Elayo Mukuba Land Road Zate Abakutawa and Tuba Fenech Sanibataba Goba Mweba Zanyu Dr. Stella Nyanzi uh, Echibuzo Chobuzi Zan Chikuru Ela Chigenda Kuntu Saku Concept Jevaita Bonafide Chipant mm yochigendo kuntu saneka ntandikire lye mabega mwami mitala ni mushala kirabo bageze za iko kujja yensonga ya ya 19 o agreement awo ndobuzibwe bwavu myroland yenu kanzire muzika atize kutibanyonyo de mitala kinyonyo de kone mchala kirabo neka ntige yo burungi nyo kitegerekeke batuza bakitegere myroland tayari bwavu 19 o o agreement what's the problem okay uh, 19 o o agreement uh abazungu we bajja basanga buganda it is settled very well settled right na yenga boba galuk taking over so ne bale ta system yabwe mitala jya yogedde konga system ya abazungu System where you divide it, but some of it is when you penetrating Uganda. Uganda, Uganda, yaina clan leadership. Natuina ebika, natuina na na abaku abama saza. Kati bwa sala wokuwa wula muta kalia Uganda. Neva wula muche baita crown land. Iyo no kati yafuka freehold. Neva wula muta kedala yebaita mairo land. No neva di gabanya gabanya. Neba kendo kuri gavanya. Basa nganga abami ava, baka baka. Na haba kurube vika. Nga kutakari ya abwe. Kutakeyo kubali. Of course land was communally owned. By, by, by Buganda. Kingi do muna haba antu. Ne basa nga kaba antu banji. So ne basa la wanti. Owe saza. Ya atuala etakeyo. Ya fuka mailo landi horoda. Was antigiri kaburunji. Katibari abari ko abibi banja. Abala abari ko bafuka abibi banja. Chumbola bichi gambo chibanya chitegeza kubanja. Nti nanyi nitaka mailo landi horoda. Aliwele duwa wazungu. Akubanja. O ino kubela angu mwa obusuru ne mvujo. Awe wafe teka li baita. Busuru ande mvujo lo. 1927. Nyeri ya 1927. Eh, busuru and Fujo Jalo Kube and Echo. Right. Casino on the free hold land. A Rodolia Yagin and government. A Rango Mutua will just hold different Ake Japa, no ritual, and we are in perpetuity. Catimiro land yen. Rulisha are viable. Whatever you are in a conflict. The reason is Nti Miro land holder. Yasoburango Funa Musente, Ngabano Abacolida Koba Musasura. Obusuru ne mvujo. Bori mevi janjalo. Ondeti la kona anga. Tukambi oli mie kilo chikumi. Mbako kilo kumi na angela andiloji. Bobo orunze ente. Orunze ente. Kumi. Mpake emu. So awole wabela oli leso ni shiponga nonji. Even economically. It was viable. Ndila andiloji afunamu. Namu abebi banja ni mufunamu. Kakati kwe tuva au amini kwe yajia. Na leta kyo yise dikuri dikuri kitegeza anti otura gwenga dictator i mean was a dictator 
no signing it, no drafting it taker, no take a home corner, it's handy cocoa. To have a parliament, to have a quiz, Kuga Ganabiro was a take you. Elia landed the curry. The Afula, a tackle you, Nanelia, my land, the Lili Jawakiwari, my land, the Awele, or by a mean, Naisa de Curie, a tackle you, Nanelia, the public land. The Liberanga, the government, ye Kusari, the Owa, will be the sovereign of Kugoba, the Lifuka Yayo. President Museveni yeah. Wakoma Wu, would you kill anti ya? Ya, ya, ya is a limiter to Aribato, Naye Muchala, Dr. Nyaz in Rosea, the Mukuruko, and Yagovera. Simply, we are young by a gamb, there is a fundamental change. A lot of fundamental changes they are it, and Agam and Taka, Obuzuo Nangina Kutereza, Nenda Kuisa, a taker, a dungi, a dinamala window, a little. Que Kuisa taker, a year nineteen ninety eight land act. Era di edichi alivokati. Mucha la chila boya yoge de nala ganti teka dinu. Richi usidia sulsidua. Emiru ni ndo oze jisu kamukumi leta anu. The Twitter amendments. It has been amended about 15 times. Echuno china chichukulaga. Chipa chitegeza ante teka kiri yari perfect mkulikola. Nukuli isa. Bulimuwa akabazula yechizi. Bulimuwa akabazula yechizi. Katine chino chowuri ya chivari eta. Ileba agala kola amendment. Kukantua ku section yako. Akariko Milo Landi Tenua System. So our problem with Nature Zibuchi, a chonge do kuja oku o kuja wokati, or rete karin. Uh Mukuru Yaba de Kajova David. Ya you get the ku governance. Uh ne doctor Stella nyaz na you get the ku governance. In fact, ya chitu te walako na gamba to seven has lost the trust of people. Bulisha geza ako kukola, abantu wa mutu nulida with a lot of suspicion. Again, leda kola chi. Kunyigiriza, kumba takari ya fe, so he has lost trust, it is true. Abantu wa nabu basanga, no yogela nabu bagama. Musebe ni mtu vya leta futi, tuvite gira, tabileta mkudu spirit. So, population explosion yenu. Uh, Elete da abantu, manyu wabela wo uh, population explosion. Abantu ngabaga letaka. Muteka letaka waliba mwobu nafu. Mweba yitira. Kakati walo chetu ita bonafide occupant. Right. Bonafide occupant, it is a concept in the Land Act. Yeah. Ega ambetia. Ega manti omuntu ye na. Ea sangi wakutaka. E miaka kuminevili. Okuwa mu 1983 kumela chenda mchinana muesatu. Mpaka constitution ya kodi wajimia miaka kuminevili. Omuntu ya sangi wakutaka. Emiaka kuminevi ni emavega. Na constitution ya Uganda tenda wa kukoli mwa. Oyo avela bonafide ochipanti. Kaverenga yesenza bu yesenza. Kaverenga takayari ya alibye. Kaverenga kwe gamba. Tolimu guzangi lawa lito mumanyi kwe nanyi ni taka. Kastasa angibu wako. Oyo tosobula kumugo wako. Avela bonafide ochipanti. Kati abantu bayi ingila kumairo la andiza abantu. Neba koze sakaru polako. Oja, michalo soro kufa ebu ngeleze yojori. Noja no gamba na abu sentila andilo dichari we atari we masaka. No manyanti gundi ya atari uo. No gendo jinga jingeli. Ntuwe vila ganti gwa wa ingila uo. Vata ata uo. Ya ingila uo mumuwa koko kwa kwenda chinana mwesatu. Ela no leta no obu julizi. No obu julizi. Tisipele izi. Kwa wanga konseptu baji kolanga. Teri stu kito mtu ya naso vulo kere iminga. Tinze nari wano by 1983. Vata ata wange. Vata ata wange. Zendi musika. So kakati uweka nganga mailo landi za abantu. Ezita alikoba abibanja. Zajako are abibanja. Banji nyo. Uweka nganga muna itina itatili kwa alika abibanja. Nga mukaga katukuliko abibanja. Nga vikumi bibiri. Uba misatu. So mailo landi na itaba vayo. Kwa 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 Shenda kuchinana mukaga. Tuwali mungu talu. Abantu wa febanji. Badu kakumataka. Na mwami sebe ni aluwa neruwe. Lone mbise. Ne mbitondwe vila. Kakati o classifying abantu. Abantu they are absent. Landlords. Ingate wabade o consultation. Zizimara. Okutesa ganyano. Okutegira gana. Then those are we. Wavechi zivuawo. Na ye njagade. Njagade o clarifying ako. Nga mwogenda maso. E, Sebo weba le nyuma mimitala. So e chuchikulaga. In fact, I'm going to say, "Chicken, they're the ones." 
Waliwa abantu banji nga mwa mitala bwa Gambia. Balandi bala, wadu waduka. Abantu banji na dalaba westana vajja. Tebo wa banumatiz. Ba, 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 Baringa batambula. Na dalaba li mkato kolibu. Ni vajja ni vayingila mbuganda ni vabila kutaka. Ni vabila kutaka. Akuka section ni muteka ni kaisiwa okuba protectinga. Nga tu cha sovula kubagoba. Kakati haba mailo landi. Kwa nga njaka la kutia yesu unge. Vikisho nizizu luwachi. Wezili ya luwachi waluo problemu. Mailo landi. Bovela nanyi ni takali ya mailo landi. Ugeno kweka nga tufuna mwe. Takali juda abandu. Kati kwe kuliku zoyo. Gwe gwolo uoza nchi ya ine mundu. Gumayo kendeka kwa kwa sari musari. Iye ya jana ganti nzenja bagoba. Edaba bagoba. Na yenze chenda vula president kuseveni. Tienso ngeyo. Alime kujipapira. Kuwange rani wa ya galo kujisolofi. Actual inza no kufira mu government yo kumwa. Kuwange songa yeta kankuru. Balandi lodi wevali. Bala bataba fude kwe ya soko gama nchi basa sule nusuru kumi. Mchima nyinti. Emia kajo na prezi msebe ya wade mbu inza. Until recently. Abantu wa deba kizi wa kusa sule nusuru kumi ya lilandi lodi. Ngoli ya kungula ensa wonesa wazeta. I mean za muogu. Owe muanyi. Na yengo umaka kusa sule nusuru kumi. Mbaka webachu seteka ni waka antikati disu kilandi bodi zi, zikore obusuru. Elewe ni wafe masaka, ni wa iso obusuru wa nkumi tano. Obo inaeka zikikumi, kutaka liyamu neze chivanja, gosa sura nusu nkumi tano umuaka. Ageno kula nga gotika lore nereleze mwani, na inga alinda ye kufuna kuna nusu nkumi tano. So ensonge yon zendo za government, mwibange ni jenu wini kaya kutere za wea nitonude. Na ya tenze ndoza, ya ndiba de consulting a new service a jaka waka ne government ye. On how to solve that problem. Kuwanga, we wali obuzibu, obusingo obongi. Sebo we wali nyo. Omanyi, chilundi nyo kweza, chilundi nyo kweza kwe example, na ziba de mawanga amalala, na tugeza kwa kusolving a ensonga za. As an example, e Tanzania, Aba Tanzania, e chintu echo chechimundo za bachi sanga koko na government ye geza koku fo singa abantu kore evi ntu ye bata kilizika njiza na vyo kumigambo vye taka. Enechi avamu, we creating uh, that conflict between the Masai and another set of people. Even though the Masai bantu baino ba, ba uzali rano akua e Tanzania, na ye newe sanga nga mungeri emu obedara. But reject the, 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 the host societies in Gazita and Sokola Choku were rejecting. So, what that is to Gamba? Okwe are living to give you, Okureta, Inja Ukanda, Mawanga, Kuanga, Chom, some bit of Mina. You I mean, realistically, we, we, we have to be honest with ourselves. Abana Fava to Kurembeda, to Sora Kubeda, Nabwe, Nabukaka, Chida, Rogulaga, which have been to be a cola. Tebiri, te, tebie, tebie, tebie kuta ganya kumawa, kumawangwa na buzari nanwa. Kuwanga vuotu nolile ngeje wakola mwe milimu. Tebi ntubi yonavyo nabye wakola. Babi kola ngabili nga, ebife e, 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 bo. Nde ataba abantu wala nebaba munga tebaina chibakuzuki chibakunyemu. Na yeso unge mkuwe di inti. Abantu be bugande mirembe nenaku. Baba denga abantu ba mirembe kumigambo yetaka. Be, be tegefu okugabana ebi enfuna, ebi vamutaka, mu relationship, ebi respectful, ebi landlordi, ne tenant. Ensonge ye yaba ndo kwese nga kumataka gaba ndu, neba kere encha, neba bagamba ndi, ba ino wananyi ni kutake, ilanga mwami mbabali, wagambi, no, newe sanga nge nchanga, uina, uine taka, you know, na yenge take di olio ina, Possible nga orino ba mbuli imba kubanga nga biyo ya biyansu wa toina choina. Ochidaba, haba ntwa ba yalabe iba chifuna mungu njini taka toina chifuna mungu. Actually, wali we njogere ya gamba nti eteke li ya lukumuru enda chenda munana. Ya kolewa with an intention okuyamba haba bivet taka, you know, against the landlords. So kakati okumenya wo that suspicion. Nebio bio nabio na, yetu ulile vigenda maso. Ndoza, echa ndiva decho uvu na njiziwa. Kwe kuveda u, okubu za ganya, consultations, zili proper zikolewe, ate chilala, abantu ve Uganda, bawe uo mukisa, boba aga, takari ya wejima nijingi, wejitia. Kufanga doso wola kuveli no ugamba bugambi, inti, you know, pechichi no government iche ya gala. Mburi omwa ya gala nkura akura, na teri ata ya gala nkura akura. 
era ndoza abantu abasinga vetege oku supportinga government ku bigambo byenkura akura na kubanga ensibu ekura akura na fena kufunamu na ye chintu chyo ku forcinga abantu mu ngeri ya ya chinywa musai kubanga abantu bamba ino buyinza bya ko balooza anti bo bajja kola bibagala kubanga bayina they, they can use the force of the state to be able to force other people to do things we better believe in the end that as slow as anti church chija kuba ko chitutwala era tujja kwesanga nga tuzemo kubera ne chiteka hb era twesange nga nga buli mwaka oba buli vanya lwa myaka 5 oba myaka 10 cheta gwo kudamo kubera amendedi tuberenga tuli stagnated because this land this mile land issue as i've said it's been here for a very long time a very long time there has been several attempts to to reform this piece of the, 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 that system of land tenure so far it's proving to be very difficult to do that the question is why is it proving to be very difficult could it be the case that there are not proper consultations being done you know on both sides so kat in the noze bito bye beta go kubera smooth and through then it will have to we forge a common way forward at the transparency na church into chikuru nyo buli bintu ebikolewa abantu babere involved abantu babere involved excuse the general election buzirwa because we could say this is a referendum abantu be buganda kubanga chine kizibu kisinga kubera wa mu buganda abantu be buganda boba agalachi etakali abwe bandi agadde limaji managing quality abantu be buganda bo babuza even nebo 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 kolo even when you close your eyes no buzo muntu we buganda fena tukirize chindu chechi mu kabaka ye custodian we takaja takadi tuli mu situation ti kabaka vorwa kakati ebintu ifana ko bwe bityo te bisobola ku building a trust na momentum kusobola kola chindu kisobola kututwala maso fena so tubereba kakamu tutesaganye i think there has to be a clear demonstrable goodwill from the part of the state nabo bona balowoza okutusa tusa mbintu byettaka eyo yokaye ngeje basoro ku building a trust mu bantu okusobola okola ekintu abantu bona che babiliza ngira echo chemba denja galo kuongera ko mwana mbabali byayo gede do do you think that the the the, the, the Baganda should be comfortable with having this discussion uh should should they wait because uh, bogamati ettaka e land reforms this is happening that no matter how amendments after amendments after amendments is, is is this an issue of uh if this is really an issue of governance uh do you think the institutions within buganda if uh the federalism debate is resurrected uh, do you think land evictions are going to end Tuchiza yo historical ngabo twabira. Ninde ko mami baba ya Rosach. Ah Dr. Sela baba na oyaga loko gera inzo kujja no yogera nende katusuka tandike ndoza ne 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 mami baba. Eh sebo webale. Ah Fedro kitegeza ki Fedro kitegeza kuifuga. Yeah. Naliko Germany yo ne sana ngaba ina Fedro system ya bunungi enyu. Ah kazi sira nyazi jalaga jali e jali ibanda bili nyo dr sira nyazi kakati independence e ya federal state chikuru nyo icho no chibachitegeza anti singa ogeza no wa buganda federal system eba yekolera ku nsonga zayo ne bizibu byayo ne bimala ekimu ku bizibu buganda byerina kyechetaka na abantu abanji okujja ettaka eryo ne bali twala ngate nto siza abizi bali kolera kuga engeri je bali twala mu tefe bali nga buganda zindoza anti buganda bodi wa federal system eja kusobola okumala ebizibu byayo olukiko lutule lutese lulagente ttaka bwe buvo no buddo bwa fenga abaganda ttaka izikali cho Vya fuba sobolo kulinkinga economics wa state ye ya Buganda nga federal state nitaka sobolo kubera productive i am very sure tuli populated nga mukuru kajuba bwa yogedde na yetu sobola bulungi kwa tuchaina itaka tenga lifata yo 
okuliko sobola okulikozesa ni wandi badenga abantu banji ni libera productive right dr stella mujira waza coach um and and kola ya federo mukutegera kwange actually in germany kamalo kogera kuche germany nti nzendo zo ama ama amawanga agalimu uh, abantu abobo wangwa obwinja wulu right there there's the countries that have nation states that within them kati yanko ne germany elinti balina unitary government wa guru na yebuli region yefu gabaina states how many states do we have 16 baina 16 states right and every state is independent and autonomous in terms of administering the local affairs of education and health and roads etc etc chiwesa nganti abaganda abali mu central region baina fuga yawe ya masomero kubanga bagala basenga basomesenga abana bo bwala ya tabachuli nabo baina system yawe nabanyakole baina ya bwe which are controlled at the state level so there there's two systems the, the union government at the top and then the, the state governments below nti mushifonga yuganda osanga we took the home regions is a fee nga twina regions ezimu abantu abayino obuwangwa okukwatagana right uh wale abagamba ati bwe bya mayiro tibabina tebali nanga ba kabaka tebajja kwagala kukolagana na baganda nenga baganda tulina districts eziwera abanabuddu okay mu byo bwe kaba ebyo bwa kabaka abanabuddu abanachagwe abanasingo the different counties we had could come together under the administrative um, districts of Masaka, Mukono, Wakiso, PG, Kampala, and congregate around the common ethnic question. Because I think in Uganda we have ethnic enclaves. And I think for me that when it comes to issues such as land, where we have different land tenure systems organized differently, that maybe federalism might help, right? And I think that federalism does not dissolve the central government. I think part of the problem, again, we've talked about governance. Part of the problem is that the center, the executive does not trust the people and the people don't trust the center. And so we cannot even have such a separation or a, 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 a devolution of power into two levels. That's part of the problem. And Kolaya Federal Temala Gaja, Kolaya Federal Aina, people would have to discuss federalism uh, because currently it's not what our constitution provides for us as a people. And so maybe we'd need a constitutional amendment. Um, but that's a discussion. Uh, um, the Odoch report. Oh, which report? Odoch. Odoch report you. Our abaso na mateka teka baba jatu juki zodoki report chia gamba. But um, the chenda was a chichino. Chenda was a chichino. Right. Nti wapo ebi tu ebi tagenda kulinda zi reporti za odochi. Baba na tukua tila kutakali afe. Baba na tukua tila kumairo. Baba na tukua tila kuchitiwa cha kabaka. Chaba nala baba la biyechi. Abaganda tuja kunyiga. Wali wo crisis in Uganda nti echintu chilinze kwa bike jute waliba jute liyenge de akasonga kajja kuba katonu ya bike kati enza mpwemba uh, wabula oba wa magezi uh, yo rebu 7 in that chema bila kanywa musayi omusayi gwanye de uh, agunye de omusayi gweta kali abaganda aguve ku kubanga nze ndi mukazi bukazi na yo laba nango mukazi nvayo ni ngamba <laughs> tujja kuba gwanga muje tujja kwesiba tukwata mafumu bintu bya takali ya fe bintu bya kabaka wa fe nti echidale ta federo chiza no butaba ndi twalinda abala muzi ne batula ne baloya ne batula ne bakola zili frienda mu ne bakola doyi doyi nti tujja kusoka tufulumya mu 7 na majege na bine biteka teka byaleta na baganda bateka mu mu cabinet bajje batundo buganda 
kwe kolele kusonga ya ferie taka balole la gameti ya baganda babo bagezi tuwale si wali wabantu wabamu chebati ya people are scared of cessation cessation chechi nchi tutanikuwa kusabanti mutukutu lile kwa buganda ya fe katia nsonga ya buganda eli critical because we are the heartbeat of uganda bana anso nyi wanjua kwe desidu ula budu zina yenjo gena nchi manyi nchi the, the, the high court the, the, the supreme court sits in buganda uh, musebe niye njini ya sula buganda amaso melama lunji gani buganda uh, okutale bonobu lunji huli buganda airport huli buganda sfc batu de buganda abakazi ya balunji tuli buganda huli chilunji chili buganda kakati mbetuwe tuola ku uganda liye ndalaba koloni jivatu kolila uganda ebe filwa right and so abantu cheba babu za abu za cessation ne federalism federalism tuwe tetu Chetuwe kutude ku Uganda. Tuwe kutude governance ya fena inga tuliwasi wa Uganda. Secession. Tuwe kutude kwa dala. Tuwe kwa kwa Uganda. Kwa kwa mu Uganda. Tatina wa kusawa secession. Aba mtu sawa federo. Mwanyi wala wa waga matinda wa waganda mwogira nyo. Lewa jia bako la chewa wakola wa konzo. Muna wakola uchi wana wakola chewa wakola wa konzo. Uh, Okay. Um, I don't know how much you have been listening to this conversation, but I, I wonder what your thoughts are, especially in regards to, to the question we posed today. Do you think federalism ca, ca, can potentially uh, resolve some of the issues uh, created by uh, the, the, the scarcity of land or the, the, the minor land newest, <laughs> new, uh, uh, <laughs> my intent is an Akuseka. My intent is an Akuseka. My intent is an Akuseka. My Tevagenda kujikiriza. Luachi tevagenda kujikiriza. Kubanga Buganda siye funa mwecho. Oba Buganda siye firwa mwecho. Ndosa kanchiteka mwecho. Buganda siye andi firi duwa mwecho. Elate firwa mwecho. Nebu wala baba chiruanyisa. Nga dokita wagambie. Nti omutima kwa Uganda gute telera wano. Ne emi kisa chie jiri mwecho. Emi kisa jiri mwecho. Nti jiba jitususiza maso gafe. Ne ugongo wafi. Okwe kuluku unyiza wano. Ne tutu wale nkula akula. Na neve ne lako ne mvitu nduwe vila lekuanga nerikula. Ne yama ntubo nama singo unji. Nebu wala watu ni mumogote kukuno nenkaya na zinozo na. Kumanga okule mbeze vule nedua. Okusasa nye mkula akula na abantu. Nebasa wala okusika lewa abu jebali. Wala wabu zibu wabu. Tewali ya inza kukisela. Option zizo na zata. Tewali ya inza kutukiriza. Kumanga omutima guli wano. Tewali chinza kukole kakati ya Uganda. Nga techiri nye kobi gerevi achio mbuganda. Nore songeyo. Zendo oza. Nti obukule mbeze wafewa ne Uganda. Buandi tadenyo mwoyo kulaba. Nti obwenka nyaburi rida wa. Kumanga mbuganda. Yo ewade yevi ya yobyo na. Kuluwa Uganda. Ne ye yo. Efune chimu return. 
Tebeleza. Fena bafune misala jona jona jetufuna. Nga tujifuna tukulukunya. Obutonde mwa Buganda. Yonga Buganda efuna chini return. Kubanga abantu ya wama lokole milimu jabo wano. Tunula mwisela vienda kwenkulu. Mwituma la mwisela vienda kwenkulu wabidaba. E chibuka ne chistika la chikalu. Nga abantu wa naba situ seba zeyo wa. E no. wabwe. Abe Buganda teba ina jibada. Basika la wano. Naga kaganaga eh, emission za gali mpanga no 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 takali abwe likujudwa kujudwa butundu tundu eh, zizi eziri eh, contaminated ebintu eh, byana 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 yone sigala wonga tina che sigaza kati abantu batandika no kutuwereza obubaka ku mikutu nti tuliena tusa kumpewe nnunji eya eh, wanani ajonona era eh, who is compensating us for that so, nzendo waza nti singa tutambulira mu moyo gwa bwenkanya. Ni waberanga region yeno or resources za yoze wayo. Kule gwanga Uganda ngeri compensated because it is losing too much. It is losing too much to get a kusiga za territory back territory grounds. Ezitani mo baganda, kumanga taka liabwe bali ba guzeko. Loanza mtu kwenye kutu kero me angati wachali yomo roma, o kutu kero ganda, angati wachali muganda. Sote chivu la chabu inkanya, nzendo waza nti sandi la osi kusala we no kumanga angati ya hizo kukirize vyo, nye tu bere no inkanya. Ate tukole mekanizimu e compensating. Nga siku la bulonji wa Buganda yoka. This is the only way we are going to distribute development across the entire country. Nange nandi ya kato gendo kusaka ke walala. Ene visa kibu wa babina avera yonja kugenda yo. Nsu bilanga na haba antu wabalala. Bwe batu. Right. Do, 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 do you think, Mr. Mswanga, do you think the current government of Uganda is silently orchestrating uh, a genocide. I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't characterize it like that, but I think uh, it's, it's a sensitive issue that needs to be managed, you know, sensibly and carefully. Obviously, wherever there is a, there is a feeling from the general masses that, you know, there, there's, there's a lack of fair systems, there's a lack of access to... Uh, access to resources, to natural resources and fair opportunities for everybody to be able to, 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 to enjoy or to progress in, in their country. It creates that kind of anxiety. But I think it's up to those who are in leadership to be able to manage those challenges. At the moment, what we are seeing is that they are completely failing to manage those challenges. I know, but Wait, if, if we are to, 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 to agree with the Dr. Stella that uh, the land issue is, a, is an identity issue, uh, the Mayo land issue specifically, in the, uh, which, which is primarily in Buganda, is an oh. identity issue. It's also uh, an issue of uh, historical legacy. Uh, if they are trying to eliminate the, the, the Mayo land tenure, are they systematically orchestrating a silent genocide? As I said, um, there has been several attempts, you know, at trying to get rid of the Milo land system. It's, this is not the first time this is coming up for, for discussion. The, the fact that we are still talking about the same thing, you know, possibly, let's say, since Mr. Seven said in 1986 or shortly thereafter that uh, he would not rest until after the Milo system of land had been destroyed. The fact that we are still here, still talking about this specific issue, that means that there is good resistance from those who are concerned. And that good resistance comes from a good point of view. Because as you yourself, you indicate, the issue of land in Buganda is an existential issue. It goes to the core of the heritage of the people of Buganda. It goes to the core of the, just the sheer existence of the people of Buganda. 
But even in those circumstances, the people of Uganda, they have always been ready and they have demonstrated beyond doubt to everybody glaringly that they are ready to share these resources with other people. You know, the problem is that I don't think that we are receiving the same kind of uh, uh, reciprocal, kind of the, 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 what we are giving up is being reciprocated. I think I don't think that, and I think that's where the element of unfairness comes from. I am really, for me, I mean, personally, I'm very uncomfortable with, with, with the language that I see that seems to be little, you know, the institution of Uganda, really. Because th th those, those are the things, in essence, that make the people of Uganda. They are the things that make up, you know, the Uganda people. Now, if you kind of uh, try to caricature, you know, the, a whole tribe and make them almost, uh, you know, irrelevant, as they are trying to portray the picture that, you know, maybe the interests of the Uganda don't matter in this particular discussion, then that is certainly bound to be regrettable. But I have every faith that those attempts will fail, just like all of them have failed before. Council Babali, you Neku map season nine, Nakus no Chilako Ganda, Nabako Central, North East Central, Central, Nabako, uh, Digambo, Tavisha, Chigambo Ganda, Church of Mopza, Zaza, Uganda, Chitegaza Church. What does that mean? Is that related to, to, to land? And uh, with the elimination of the Maya land tenure, accomplish the, the, that goal. Unmute yourself before you speak. Oh, thank you. Um, genocide is a very serious thing, uh, and I think uh, our situation has not yet degenerated to that level of a genocide. But uh, uh, the land issue is a very serious uh, issue. Uh, to refresh your mind, uh, President, I mean, his government failed partly because of failing to manage uh, the land question, to resolve the land question. And uh, President Museven, I think he has not learned from that experience. He was alive and kicking, he was actually involved in the politics of that time. He knows what happened, I have read his books. He has written about the mistakes Amini made during his term of office and uh, I, I would have expected him to have learned a lesson but it seems he has not learned i have seen the minister the city minister for land is talking about my land he is actually directly attacking the kabaka in his speeches and that's very dangerous but i am sure uh, the government of Uganda, uh, led by the Katikiro, who I know very well, uh, it will initiate negotiations with the central government so that this, this matter is resolved amicably. Okay. But once you see that amendment being brought in parliament, forcefully debated and passed into law, then we shall have a problem. And uh, that may be the beginning of the end over the leadership of President Museven. Do you agree, Dr. Stella? Right, so it, I think I want to slowly, or I want to carefully depart from the two lawyers, also they are men, and say that um, while the word genocide might, might seem extreme, and while we are not yet there, that to be genocide is to target a particular group. I mean, genos comes from race or tribe, right? Milo land is a system that belongs to the Baganda. I, I think it exclusively belongs to Buganda Kingdom. Yes. I know that there are many non-Baganda who have bought um, land and have parcels cut out of the original Milo uh, titles. However, the, the Milo land tenure system is exclusively a Buganda Kingdom uh, related tenure system because it originates from our Kabaka 
who was giving his men chips says that he gave them miles of land in appreciation for work done and um Part of the question around historical injustices, which Henry Sully initially hinted about, comes from the idea that some people were displaced, but I'll get away from that. It is historically, typically Buganda. Of course, the questions about who is Bu Buganda, what is Buganda, who is a Muganda, what tribes have been subsumed under the Buganda. And so to why I want us to highlight genocidal tendencies is because if Milo is taken, it is taken away from the Baganda. Like I said, unlike many other ethnic groups in Uganda, the Kabaka, who is the uh, cultural head of Uganda, owns 320 square miles, undisputed. Abaganda Tetulina Zibuku Kabaka was for 320. So if anybody wants to doubt the genocidal tendencies, maybe not genocide as yet, of the potential of um, Yoweri Museveni as a dictator, let us look at Kasese for a moment. What happened in Kasese was bloodbath originating from the palace, right? And this was within a dispensation of human rights and the world was watching and at the risk of sounding arrogant, if we compared the Renzururu kingdom to the Uganda kingdom, and I say this quite arrogantly as a Uganda woman who does not regret belonging to the Uganda kingdom, that compared to the small, tiny Renzururu kingdom, Uganda kingdom is quite a huge civilization of which we are proud. And so if, 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 if the Omombere could be targeted and his court guards targeted, and we saw the massacre and killing and mass graves that are still being discovered happening, what about Uganda, right? And I think for me that to wait until people are butchered like cows and, and pigs and goats, to wait for the slaughter to happen is to, to lack the foresight for which adults uh, are renowned, especially Baganda adults, you know, to be relevant to the world. Rachi was a was on the way to the Rachi Sikuba Gwanga Muji, the Mumani, Musi Mutemu, Yakwate Mundu, Yakuba, and Makumi, a video of Nakurumu, the Gara to Tisa Tisa Kuyobu. Okay, Rachi Mumu is a and so I think for me that to highlight and as an activist to exaggerate the issue and call on the word genocide is to tell my people in Buganda, to tell anyone who is interested and may not be a Muganda, that Yoweri Museveni is a dictator, he's a murderer, he's taken the life of Ugandans, and we should not trust him, right? For the sake of taking land, but what he's touching is more than just cows. It's, it's, our, it's our heritage as well. To touch our land is to touch us. And if we fight and retaliate because they have the guns, as Anita told us, because they have the guns, they will wipe us out. And so, Henry, I don't say this lightly. I think that to be able to communicate, we use words that might exaggerate situations so that the alarm that is needed to incite people into action and thought and debate and a defense of our land is important. No, Rachel, it's possible. So genocidal warnings should be taken seriously. Muchi wuli decho nga chima wa doktor omu wandisi omu no nyeleza ate artist. Sima nyo vanja gala uko ngela uko uko ne. I think we are over the, 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 the time that we are supposed to usually use. Uh, I feel like I want to give Miss you know, another opportunity to say something, but I, I'm not sure how much she, she has had. Uh, 
about the conversation. Miss Kilabo, we are closing the conversation. Uh, so your closing remarks. I, I, I think it's just fine for the Waganda to be conscious uh, about these actions uh, that are being orchestrated by Mr. Museveni's government. Uh, he thinks that uh, uh, they could uh, trickle into uh, a, 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 a serious uh, genocide. Let's go watch those. Bobanga, Twena Chirongera Co, I'll get a cook to a room Sagudo, dropping up conversation, you know, and then a Jagara Oka was up. What will the Seco or Walero or Tua their opinions about what is going on uh, in regards to, to, to the Maryland tenure reforms? About it, Molite. Let us have a conversation, a critical conversation. Uh, uh, that is also very engaging. Specifically, those people who are on the ground, go away in Echiwanja, or all in Echiwanja, they, they have talked about that double ownership. I know, I know, I know, I know, I Let us have a conversation together. Even if you don't believe about politicians, Boka, or to say, you know, which kind of reforms should be enacted or implemented uh, in our absence. Uh, there are so many things that we need to uh, engage with, uh, but the most important thing is to ensure that we all understand, specifically the people on the ground understand what is going on and how they can maneuver uh, the different challenges to ensure that we all uh, have a fair say in regards to our lands. Anyways, Bagala nyo, mwebali nyo, mwebali nyo, mwebali nyo, I think in Jakuza, bantu, batono, batono, katusuboloko, I think a more engaging conversation. Kwanga, wabatuwe vila banji, bulimoyo gila longer, and they don't get a chance to respond to each other easily. Uh, that is something that I'm thinking about doing, and uh, I'll be informing you later. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the State of the Nation. This is the State of the Nation. Rifa Mwanga. We are deliberate. We are reasonable. We are uncensored.